Welcome to our new video that is MCQs on virology or viruses and this is the part 15 of this series of videos on virology. So the first question of this video is the most sensitive and commonly used method for viral antigen detection is CIAP, CFT, coagglutination or ELISA and the right answer is option D that is ELISA. So ELISA technique is the most sensitive and commonly used method for viral antigen detection. Okay. So move on to the next question that is the type of symmetry shown by pox virus is cubical, helical, complex or all of the above and the right answer is option C that is complex. So the complex symmetry we can see in pox virus. Okay. So next question they can get. So pox virus is bullet shaped, brick shaped, rod shaped or spherical shaped and the right answer is option B that is brick shaped. So pox virus is brick shaped. Okay. So next question kya hai? Next hai, which of the following does not belong to a pox virus family and options are small smallpox virus chickenpox virus molasum contagiosum or cowpox virus and the right answer is option b that is chickenpox virus so chickenpox virus is doesn't belong to the pox virus family okay so move on to the next that is which of the following viruses can be pleomorphic in nature and the options are enveloped animal virus tmv cauliflower mosaic virus or lambda fudges and the right answer is option a that is enveloped animal viruses okay so this enveloped animal viruses can be pleomorphic in nature so move on to the next in order to invade mus uh, mucus layer of respiratory tract epithelium of host cells animal viruses employ peristalsis peristalsis movement of respiratory cilia or neuraminidase or hemagglutinin or mucus secretions and the right answer is option b that is neuraminidase so neuraminidase uh, they invade uh, they appoint neuraminidase to invade mucus layer of respiratory tract epithelium of host cell by animal viruses okay so animal viruses employ neuraminidase to invade mucous layers of respiratory tract epithelium of host cell so move on to the next question that is the attachment of animal variant to red blood cells cell membranes is accomplished by complement proteins neuraminidase hemagglutinin or vitamin cofactor cyanocobalamin Okay, so the answer is right answer is option C that is hemagglutinin. So the attachment of animal virus to red blood cells cell membranes is accomplished by hemagglutinin. So next question kya hai dekhenge? So next question is which of the following fudges have short non-contractile tails without tail fibers and the options are cauliflower T3, cauliflower T7 both a and b or neither a nor b and the right answer is option c there is both a and b that means cauliflower t3 and cauliflower t7 are uh, fudges have short non-contractile non -contractile tails without tail fibers so move on to the next question that is the symmetry of complex bacterial viruses with both heads and tails is said to be complex symmetry, binal symmetry, isoshedral symmetry or helical symmetry and the right answer is option B that is binal symmetry. So binal symmetry means where two types of symmetry are present in a single viruses. So that symmetry of complex bacterial viruses with both head and tail is said to be binal symmetry. So next one is Gaurnieri bodies are seen with rhabdovirus, varicella virus, vaccinia virus or adenovirus and the right answer is option C that is 
vaccinia virus so vaccinia virus in vaccinia virus we can see the gaudinary bodies okay gaudinary bodies so move on to the next question that is reservoir of smallpox virus is man cow monkey or chicken and the right answer is option a that is man so man uh, are reservoir of smallpox virus so the next question is in which part of embryonated egg pox virus are generally cultivated and the options are yolk sac chorioallantoic membrane or allantoic cavity or amniotic cavity and the right answer is b answer b that is chorioallantoic membrane so in chorioallantoic membrane of embryonated egg egg pox viruses are generally cultivated so next question is cytopathic effect observed for variola and vaccinia virus on cam is that is chorioallantoic membrane is syncytia formation necrosis of cam and lysis plaque formation pock formation and the right answer is option d that is pock formation so cytopathic effect observed for varicella and vaccinia virus on cam is pock formation so next one is as per ictv norms the name of subfamily ends with variales variales vi sorry viralis or virini or viridi or none of the above and the right answer is option b that is virini so as per ictv norms the name of subfamily of viruses ends with virini okay so move on to the next question that is as per ictv norms the name of family ends with vir uh, viralis virini viridi or none of the above and the right answer is option c viridi so for family uh, for, for the name of the family of viruses we have to use viridi and for sub family for sub family we have to use virini okay so the next question is viruses are divided into various taxonomic groups based on characteristics such as type of host virion structure and composition mode of reproduction and nature of any diseased caused disease caused or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so viruses are divided into various taxonomic groups based on characteristics such as this type of host virion structure and composition mode of replication and nature of any disease caused okay so the next question is viruses are divided into various taxonomic groups based on characteristics such as nucleic acid characteristics capsid symmetry and immunological properties presence or absence of dna intermediate along with gene number and genomic map or all of the above and the right answer is option d so all are correct okay so viruses are divided into various taxonomic groups based on these characters so move on to the next question that is which of the following assumptions support the fact that bacteriophage accelerates gene flow between marine bacteria and the uh, assumption and the options are assumption that is transformation of bacterial dna do occur once bacterial cells are lysed by specific phages and second assumption that is high phage co concentration stimulate gene exchange by transduction and the third option that is both a and b supports or option d neither a nor b support so, so the right answer is option c that is both a and b supports means both a and b assumption is correct okay about the assumption support the fact that bacteriophage accelerates gene flow between marine bacteria okay so the next question is in order to study the life details of phages one step growth experiment was developed by emory ellis and max delbrook or watson and craig or felix deherel or liederberg and tatum 
and the right answer is option A that is Emory and Emory Ellis and Max Delbruck. So in order to study the live details of phages, one step growth experiment was developed by Emory Ellis and Max Delbruck. So the last question of this video that is complications arising from smallpox vac vaccination is orsitis, orsitis or giant cell pneumonia or eczema vac uh, vaccinatum or subacute sclerosing uh, penencephalitis that is SSPE. So the right answer is option C that is eczema vaccinatum. So complications arising from smallpox vaccination is eczema vaccinatum. Okay. So these are all 20 questions of this video. So thank you for watching this video.